My name is Muhammad Ashraf and this is my story how I came over here from Pakistan. I was born in Pakistan in a small village of Multan, 1951. That's when my date of birth, that's what I'm supposed to be born. But I don't know that's the right date, I know. But there was no date that time. And I left in what we call the 1965, end of 1965. Then we call a friend of mine's, a friend of my father's came. My father had a discussion with him. When you're going back home, bring my son with you as well. So my father wrote to me that, get your passport ready, and when anybody comes, you're coming with him. We came with him, and he was guys called Pritam Singh. He was Sikh as well. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't have any clue what the Sikh and Muslim, what, what they was. Then we found uh, our journey start from Multan to Quetta, from Quetta to Iran, Turkey, Bulgaria, Austria, Yugoslavia, then Austin, then the Dover, all the way, you know, but take this two weeks, something like that. We stopped at night, sometimes we slept in what you call the, you can call the caravan, something like that. Sometimes we went to the hotel as well. And when we was coming, we have to do our own cooking as well, that's picnic, stopping all the time. I went to work with my father's shop, French shop. Then I didn't like that either. I went to Dundee then, to work in a jute factory. I only stayed there for six, six months. Don't like that either. The jute was going all over your body, inside your body, and I was only 16, 17 years old. I said, no one that come back to Glasgow. The work in a show for from 10 in the morning to 12 at night, seven days a week. There's no any entertainment, no outside work because I was staying with the family. In the morning, get up, go to shop, close the shop, go home. That time, we used to have a big association dog. I had a big association dog in the shop, and I had cat as well in the shop. There was no anybody called the law that you couldn't keep the dog or cat in the shop. There was a guard dog. And I we call the, I used to have a cat. I feed him on we call the, I don't know him or her, whatever it was. Fresh, fresh mince every day. Cat eat fresh mince. Once when I was young, I went to police as well. There was a salt market street. Just joined the police. That time, police was very, very strict. You got to be something like a six foot. And mind you, that time, if he was going to go in the police, there's no chance. They gave me one of some, in the literature, something like that. And I never went back. They went, went to buses as a conductor. If you can get the conductor job, very fine you was. If you got a good job, then you, if you got a bus driver, oh, you was top of the class. And that time, in the 70s, the buses was all run by my own countrymen. There was no, you never see the Scottish bus drivers. Now, when they, they made their money, they went into business shops. You don't, you can hardly see any Pakistani buses now. Mostly people are very, very friendly. We used to work in a shop, right? Although I didn't drink, there was custom that time, New Year, Christmas, all of my customers, they had a bottle in their pockets. They used to be like that. If you go back in Glasgow, right? We call that. They always offer you we half. We had a bottle in the shop, empty bottle, right? Any customer gave you half, we put, just put them in there. And what you call, when the bottle is filled, we just give to our customers. When uh, myself came up, I, my mom was nowhere here, me and my dad. We had to do our own cooking. You made a mess of that, you made no mess of that. You are not going to complain to your wife or to your sister, I don't like that, that's a burnt, that's no much salt or anything like that. Only the choice is take it or leave it. There was that cold that time, there was no center heating, no carpeting, no hot water. There was no just with Mike Minty, with and the whole system was the same. And we called that. 
when you come home from the work, short work, look now you're hungry. What you go do? Either have two or three biscuits, cup of what you call a glass, glass of what you call a milk. You're happy, content on that, because there was no way you was going to complain to anybody. Nobody was going to listen to you. I got married in 1976. I got married in here, on Pizzo West. That time was called the, when the fiancé was coming from Pakistan. I don't think there was any regulation or rules in that time. You just say, I call it V letter, I think you need, the, you are going to marry the girl. I went with my friend to Heathrow Airport to collect my wife, fiancé that time. And I don't think so, he asked me any question or anything. He said, when are you getting married? I said, as soon as we ride in Glasgow, we are going to get married. And there was my car, the, the, there was no big fancy parties that time because only two or three people in the house made a dinner and the Vikala Mobi comes in, you get married, then we call the you know, my Islamic way, right? We came in Gorbals. Mostly the Jewish people was supposed to be that time moving out. Pakistan was coming in. There was Vikala, I don't know, there was one um, butcher shop was there. You go for what I call the chicken mostly that time. They have chicken in the back of their shops. Alive chickens. You just go in there, you want to what you call chicken, right? Fine. Okay, they take the chicken in the back sink, cut the, do the halal, then we just clean in there. Then we cut them a piece of give you done in there. There was no hygienic, there was no environmental health or anything like that. And that's it. If you are not giving your own kid uh, atmosphere, love, care, then I think they will look outside. And if the, in the family the parents are not getting on very well, or the, if then same thing, which kind of family is, religious family, they smoke, they drink, these things contribute to of bringing the every kid. If you smoke in the house, what do you think your kid will do? If you drink in the house, if you don't pray in the house, what you what happen? Advise be a good Muslim and good citizen. So good Muslim is do not harm anybody. The what you will regret after that, if you do harm somebody. You regret it. If you regret it, you're a good Muslim. If you don't have any regret, never mind a Muslim, you're not a human being either.